jumping out of sequence today and taking a break from the bus build to bring you this Rehabitate holiday special. As we've been making changes in our lifestyle, we've made some big changes to how we celebrate. So we're gonna be bringing you our Rehabba tips for a waste-free holiday. I love Christmas. I love decorating the tree, picking out the perfect gift for my loved ones, cooking big meals, and spending quality time with family. But the problem with holidays, and this runs from all the way from Thanksgiving to New Year's, is that we create a lot of extra waste. Americans throw away 25% more waste between Thanksgiving and New Year's. That's over 1 million tons per week, or 25 million tons for the holiday season. Most fake Christmas trees are made of plastic and can't even be recycled. Those trees will be in landfills for 10,000 years or more. There are recycling programs for real Christmas trees where they do some curbside pickup, turn them into mulch, and will compost them. If you go into Pinterest and search for zero waste Christmas tree or ethical Christmas decorations, there are a ton of creative ideas. This year, we decided to go out into the woods and find a branch from an old tree that we'd upcycle into our Christmas tree for the season. any colorful envelopes that I received recently from birthday gifts or junk mail and I've turned them into leaves for our gratitude tree. We're gonna write anything we're grateful for onto our leaves and then hang them onto our tree. We also have a few other decorations we've gotten from family over the years that are kind of uh, keepsakes. The problem with wrapping paper is that most of it is not recyclable. If every American family wrapped just three presents in reusable materials, that would save enough paper to cover 45,000 football fields. One of my favorites, old newsprints. All that junk mail we get turns into a wrapping paper. Real nice. Or if you want to go for something that looks a little nicer, you can reuse wrapping paper from gifts that you've received. Uh, one of the gifts I recently received had all this tissue paper in it and it is totally reusable. Now one of the big changes we made last year was buying toilet paper by Who Gives a Crap. This company uses all recycled paper and no plastic wrapper, they use a paper wrapper. Most ribbons and bows also can't be recycled, so I do try to save those from gifts that I receive too. If I don't have any ribbons to reuse, I like to use twine made from natural fibers so that it can be composted. Another creative way to wrap a present is to use a scrap piece of fabric. 
or you could use something like a scarf and that way you can just wrap the present up completely and tie it off in a knot. You don't even need to use any tape for your present. We still have a lot of leftover tape from when we moved, so we are going to keep using that until it is done. But I do believe that there is a tape that is compostable, it doesn't have any plastic in it. So I'll probably look into using that in the future. But I really like the idea of wrapping a present in a scarf so that you can just avoid having to use any tape at all. We've been trying to come up with creative ways to make gifts for people. I also like to re-gift. I find that often I get given things that I don't need, so I'd rather pass it on to somebody else who I think might need it. I thoroughly enjoy getting gift cards or being given experiences, and that's something I've started doing more of too. Some people think it's not personal to give a gift card, but I really like it because then I get to buy exactly what I need. If you have any other great ideas for how you gift, trying to keep zero waste or low waste, please comment below and share those with us. Americans generally waste about 40% of their food. And even worse, the National Resource Defense Council now says that we're wasting over 204 million pounds of turkey during Thanksgiving. We've been trying to reduce our consumption of animal products for two reasons. Number one is that apparently a vegetarian diet is only half the carbon footprint of a meat lover's diet. The other reason is the health benefits. Recent studies have shown that plant-based diets can lower your cholesterol, your blood pressure, risk of heart disease, kidney disease, and reduce inflammation. I have a lot of food intolerances, so I've been putting this off for a long time because my diet is already pretty limited. I don't think a complete vegan diet will be right for us. It'll be too hard and limiting for me, but we are doing a good job of cutting down drastically on meat. Thus far, we've had a lot of fun coming up with new recipes on our plant-centric diet. We've been eating granola for breakfast, which we've really enjoyed, but it comes in a plastic bag. So it looks like it's a pretty simple recipe, so tonight we're going to try making our own granola for the first time. All the ingredients we were able to buy in bulk. What I love about making our own granola is that we can like mix and match and put whatever nuts and seeds or combinations in it. I think next time I do a little less oats and a little more of the sauce with the honey or maybe try using maple syrup and see if it clumps up a little more. Now we will be sharing the full recipes of our granola, the butternut squash soup that Mel is going to make, as well as a mulled wine recipe, which is great around the holidays, with the Rehab Tribe on Patreon. So if you're interested in supporting, helping us to continue to make videos, check that link below, and there'll be exclusive content for Rehab Tribe members. What I love about this soup recipe is that there's pretty much no waste because we buy all our vegetables without any plastic, we put them straight into our cloth bags and then I make the veggie broth from our scraps from our veggies and the only thing that comes in a container is the coconut cream but that can, can be recycled. be a really hard time for some people and 
To us, looking after the planet is also about looking after ourselves and others. Yeah, self-care is very important and that's why we're going to be taking a little break from putting out videos until January 2020. We'll be back in the new year, be able to finally share our bus build, the start, the struggle. How do you like being back in the bus? Oh boy. <laughs> the triumphs, <laughs> all the drama. First, we will tease you with a little trailer for season three, so watch out for that in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching the videos and happy holidays. I don't know, I wasn't prepared for it. One, two, three. Happy, happy holidays! holidays.